This conference will now be recorded. Hello and welcome everyone. My name is uh, Yasir Golfraz. I'm, I'm today your uh, uh, tutor for uh, strategic human resource management. Uh, let's define what we mean by strategic HRM, strategic uh, human resource management. And uh, uh, here uh, the aim of this unit is to develop learners understanding of competing and contrasting perspective of strategic HRM unit develops learner understanding of how HRM strategies and practices contribute to organizational and uh, employee performance and the problems and complexities of uh, operationalizing an HRM strategy within different types of organization. Any idea anybody can tell me about uh, HRM uh, definition or what comes in your mind or anybody is working in HR department? I don't, work HR, I don't work in the HR department, but I work closely with them in regard to recruitment um, and safeguarding stuff like that. Okay, so what do you think about HRM is what is it for? Um, is it a collection of policies and procedures to um, recruit, retain staff? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Muniba, you got any idea or are you? Um, uh, basically, I'm a designer, so I don't have uh, much of an idea with HRM, but I do know that um, they you imagine manage and coordinate around um, the employees yeah, and their hey, that's fine that's fine no problem you know i will continue uh, you know what cheryl said uh, basically hrm refers to be a deliberate alignment of hrm policies and practices uh, strategic hrm okay strategic hrm refers to the deliberate alignment of uh, HRM policies and practices with the overall, you know, business strategy of organization. Uh, this uh, approach recognized that people are uh, uh, valuable and unique resources that can give a company a competitive advantages. So uh, in this unit or throughout this unit, we will examine these and other perspective on strategy, strategic HRM and how they are related to organizational and employee performance. So uh, also we will uh, explore the ch challenges of implementing HRM strategies in different types of uh, organizations, uh, such as large organizational uh, organizations, small and medium size enterprises and non-profit organizations so here it says hrm his human resource management defined so human resource management basically the strategies and cohort pro approach of managing an organization's are most valued assets it's it's people hrm involved managing and developing the individuals and team within uh, organization and contribute to achieving to uh, uh, its objective. So uh, one of the main goals of HRM is to create a work environment and support uh, the growth and development of employees. So also aligning their skills, abilities within the organization's uh, goals. HRM also involves creating and implementing policies and procedures to attract, retain, and you know motivate employees. Uh, also managing performance, compensations, and uh, benefits. Training, recruitment, as Cheryl said. So goals of HRM here. Uh, should be HRM should be a uh, strategic here strategic uh, this means that it should uh, integrate the business strategy with the HR strategy HR strategy should support the overall goal of the organizational then uh, uh, coherent this means that the HR policies and practices should be integrated and mutually supportive 
so they should work together to uh, achieve the goals of the organizationals next one is commitment uh, emphasizes gaining commitment to the organization's uh, mission and values uh, this means that employees should feel connected to the organization and uh, organizational goals. Uh, next one is uh, people treated as assets. So this means that it should focus on developing human capital. Organization should invest in its uh, employees and help them grow uh, professionally. Unit based approach. Uh, this means that management and employees share the uh, same interests. They work together to achieve the goals of the uh, organization. Uh, the last one is uh, line manager uh, deliver HRM. Uh, this means that line managers are responsible for the day to day management of employees. They should uh, be equipped with the uh, knowledge and skills to manage their teams effectively you got it any question not for not for now okay you guys can see my screen uh, it is my also job to ask uh, you know after a couple of pages that can you hear me or can you see my screen okay i hope you wouldn't irritate No, it's okay. Uh, because this is, you know, sometime cause of connection or technical issues, you know, screen disappears or you can't hear. So th that's the reason. Uh, yeah, uh, goals of HRM. Uh, there are many goals of HRM, you know, as you can see, achieve high performance through people, enhance motivation, motivation, commitment, achieve human capital advantage, improve knowledge sharing, attract and retain skill committed and motivated people required, then value people according to their uh, skills, increase capability and potential, uh, uh, their performance, uh, then develop cooperative and productive uh, employees relations. Uh, uh, basically, uh managing organization most you know uh, valuable uh, assets its people the primary objective of hrm to enhance motivation commitment job commitment uh, sorry job engagement uh, achieve a human capital advantage improve knowledge sharing attract uh, and retain skilled uh, committed and motivated people increase capabilities and potential uh, value of people according to their uh, contributions and develop a cooperative and productive employee relations uh, climate the goals of hrm are to create a motivated committed and engaged uh, workforce that contributes to the achievement of uh, organizational uh, uh, objectives so by investing in human capital uh, and developing a positive work culture organizations can gain a competitive uh, advantage and achieve a uh, long-term uh, success. So version, or, uh, version of uh, HRM, uh, hard, soft, and hard and soft mix, mix of, you know, uh, using a mix of hard and soft approaches. So uh, HRM have different um, goals. The hard version, uh, emphasizes the need uh, for efficiency and cost reductions so while the soft version uh, emphasizes the need for employees uh, commitment and loyalty so the hard and soft version seeks to strike a balance between uh, these two by using a mixed approaches so it's up to each organization uh, or company uh, to you know determine which approach works best uh, for them based on their unique you know circumstances and uh, goals uh, hr uh, system so a uh, hr system uh, which involves various you know components as you can see uh, uh, such as philosophy strategies policies processes practices 
so that are important for any organization uh, human resource management concerned with the organization's design and development which includes uh, job design people resourcing learning and development uh, reward management and employee relations so these components ensure that the uh, organization is equipped with the necessary skills uh, and knowledge to carry out it, uh, its activities effectively. Uh, matching model of uh, HRM. So here matching model of HRM as developed by uh, from Brun, Techi and uh, Devana 1984 is illustrated below. So here, let's uh, let's break down the uh, you know component of the models. Uh, uh, center of model is performance, uh, which is the uh, ultimate goal of HR policies. So the model of uh, uh, suggests mod, the model suggests that there are five HR policies policy areas that should be aligned with an uh, organization strategy and culture in order to achieve uh, you know optimal performance. So first one is selection, then performance management, rewards, development, performance. Selection refers to process of identifying and hiring the uh, right people for the right job. So next one is performance management, refers to the uh, process of setting goals, providing feedback, and uh, evaluating employee performance so reward and uh, development reward uh, refers to compensation and benefits that employee receive for their work and development refers to the training and development opportunities provided to employees to enhance their skills and knowledge so the last one is performance uh, overall performance of the organization any questions so far? Can you no, hear no. me? Yeah, I'm fine. No questions. Okay, okay. And you can, guys can see my screen as well. I can, but it's a bit on the small side. Will we get a copy of this presentation? Will it be available? Yeah, yeah, you the... will get up. Now, now, can you see it? it... Can you see it, Cheryl, now? You will get my, uh, you know, I'll email uh these slides but can you see now i can but not into detail um but i i can hear you talking through it that's fine oh, okay no 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 uh just we'll try again <clears throat> uh just let me now it's the same yeah that's, yeah it's the same but it's fine it's fine i can see the big letters okay, what I'll do that, uh, yeah i'll e you will get anyway my email uh, my lecture in your email and you will get slides as well anyway okay, okay fantastic thank you so uh next one uh we'll go here the david guest model uh, of the link between hrm and performance so uh According to guest model, there are four key components uh, that form the link between HRM and performance. So these components are uh, business strategy, HR strategy, HR practices, and HR uh, outcomes. So business strategy uh, refers to the overall plan or uh, direction of the organization. HR strategy on the other hand is the plan or approach that the organization takes to uh, manage the human resource to support the business strategy uh, then we'll come to hr practices uh, means the specific hr activities or process that the organization uses to manage its workforce and finally hr outcomes are the results or effect 
of HR practices on employees and the organization as a whole. So the three key HR outcomes are employee competence, commitment and uh, flexibility. So evaluate next, uh, I will, uh, it's the same that above people and performance model. So I'll come here, evaluate the role of and importance of strategic human resource management in organization. So uh, in short, the HR functions is responsibility for uh, enabling uh, uh, the organization to achieve its objective by providing guidance and support on all matters related to its employees. A primary aim of uh, the HR function is to ensure that management deals effectively with everything concerning uh, the employment and development of people, as well as the relationship that exists between management and the workforce. So this involves hiring, training, uh, compensation, and managing uh, the performance of employees as well as providing support for their uh, well-being and uh, addressing any conflicts uh, or concerns that may uh, arise. Uh, HR functions plays a very critical role in creating an environment that enables people to uh, make the best use of their uh, cap capacities and to realize their uh, potential to the benefit uh, of both the organization and themselves. A uh, new uh, mandate for human resource uh, uh, management. A uh, new mandate for HR, which includes uh, four key points. As you can see, that HR uh, should become a partner with senior and line manager in strategy execution. HR should become an expert in the way work in organized and executed. And third one is HR should become a champion for employees. Uh, this means that HR needs to ensure that employees are treated fairly and that their needs and concerns are addressed. So uh, last one is HR should become an agent of continuous uh, transformation. Uh, Next one is uh, role of HR professionals. Role of HR professionals in any organizations, uh, HR professionals play a vital role in the success of any enterprise. They are responsible for managing and developing people and uh, the employment relationship. HR professionals play a vital role in the success of any uh enterprise they act as a business partners strategy strategists consultants management consultants uh innovators internal consultants and uh monitors and trainers uh, here is view of the strategic business partner concept then hr strategic roles formulate integrated hr strategies contribute to the development of business strategies, work with line managers to support the achievement of uh, their business goals. Uh, analyze the framework of strategic human resource management. Uh, HR can, uh, here can you see that there are six points. HR uh, can develop and implement high performance work practices. This involves focusing on job and work design, flexible working, resourcing employee development, a reward and giving employees a voice. Then a second, uh, formulate a clear vision and a set of uh, uh, values that are embedded, enduring, collective, measured and managed. Uh, third one is HR can develop uh, develop a positive psychological contract and means of increasing employee motivation and commitment. Then HR can formulate and implement uh, uh, policies that meets the needs of individuals and create a, a great place to work. So uh, finally, manage manage change effectively uh, means that. This involves ensuring that employees are engaged and informed throughout the any changing process. 
here clerks of hr models tyson and field clerks for work contracts manager architects hr activities are legally routine employment and day-to-day -day administrations policies short-term and long-term ad hoc uh, the hr department will use fairly sophisticated, uh, sophisticated systems hr manager is likely to be a professional or very experienced in industrial relationship but will not be on the board and will act mainly in an interpretative not a creative or innovative role architect hr policies exists as part of the uh, corporate strategy hr planning and development are important concept and a long-term view is taken head of hr is uh, probably on the board with power drive uh, drive from professionalism and contribution to the uh, business uh, this is a hrm model story strategies change maker advisor regulations handmade uh, then tactical then a hr model are uh, really strategies innovators advisors it's the same you know that uh, next one is a uh, hrm models uh caldwell uh, caldwell concentrates on the role of hr manager as change agents and has identified uh, four types so uh, these hr managers are uh, you know first uh, uh, chain champions visionaries who are able to uh, see the uh, bigger picture and take change of strategic change initiative uh, they have a strong understanding of the organization's goals uh, next we have the uh, change uh, adapters these hr managers uh, uh, are more practical and realistic and are able to adopt the uh, uh, vision of the organization to the current uh, realities of the uh, workplace third one change consultant uh, these HR managers are expert in implementing specific change uh, project or strategic of an HR change initiative. So uh, finally, last we have change uh, synergists. These HR managers are strategic uh, thinkers uh, who are able to uh, coordinate and integrate large scale and multiple uh, change projects across the whole uh, organizations. <clears throat> competency framework for hr specialist business and cultural awareness strategic capability organizational effectiveness uh, internal uh, consultancy service delivery uh, continuous professional development evaluating the hr functions a uh, general criteria uh, contribution to organizational effectiveness achievement of specific goals specified uh, quantified measures, stakeholder perspective like management line manager and employees then organizational uh, quantified criteria added value per employee per employee moment cost value per employees cost per employees then employee uh, behavior criteria retention and turnover rates absenteeism frequent uh, frequency uh, then uh, time lost throughout uh, through dispute number of references to employment uh, tribunals then hr function uh, service level criteria average time to fill vacancies time to respond to uh, applicants cost of advertisement training hours days per employee time to respond to and settle grievances cost of uh, inductions training per employee cost of benefit per employee here the ways of ensuring that are innovating effectively uh, you can see there are 10 points be clear on what has to achieved and why ensures that what you do uh, fits the strategy culture circumstances of the organization don't follow fashion do your own things don't follow others company policies or other things do your own things which is fit for your company so keep it simple over complexity is a common reason for failure don't rush it will take longer than you think don't try to do uh, too much at once 
assess resources requirements and cost play close attention to project planning and management and uh, remember the success of the innovations rests as much on the effectiveness of the process of implementations play close attention to change management communicate involve and train here evaluate how strategic human resource management is related to other function functional area strategic hrm defined so in other words, it involves understanding the organization's overall goals uh, and objectives and then creating a plan to ensure that the right people with the right skills and abil abilities are in the right positions to achieve those goals. So strategic HRM is the process of defining how the organization's goals will be achieved through people by means of HR strategies and integrated HR policies and practices. So HR, uh, HR policies and practices within uh, with organizational goals, it helps to ensure that the workforce is motivated, engaged and uh, productive. any questions so far can you hear my screen or can you hear me as well hello uh yeah i can i can hear you just fine hello cheryl can you hear me as well i can hear you clearly thank you okay so here a model of strategic hr uh, m Human resource management strategic HRM plays a critical role as we discuss uh, in this approach uh, as it provides the framework for identifying and pursuing strategic opportunities. The strategic role of HRM is to support the organization in achieving its goal by attracting, developing and retaining uh, the right people with the right skills and knowledge. So head HR strategies can be either overall or specific. Uh, overall, HR strategies are uh, broad in scope and cover uh, all aspects of HR uh, management. Specific HR uh, or, or specific HR uh, uh, specific specific HR strategies on the uh, you know focus on a particular area such as uh, uh, require uh, sorry recruitment performance management or employee uh, development uh, so what is the uh, strategic role of our hr specialists uh, there are if you can see seven steps of begin strategic performance this area you know performance engagement performance this area uh, focus on setting clear goals providing feedback coaching to employees and mayors their performance so it aims to uh, improve individual and organizational performance yeah then this uh, engagement engagement is uh, this area is concerned with creating a positive work environment uh, where employees feel uh, connected connected to their uh, work, their colleagues, and the organization. It aims to improve employees' satisfaction, motivation, and commitment. So big idea uh, involves, big idea involves defining and communicating a clear vision, mission, and values for the organization. Then he's talking about human capital advantage. Uh, is This area is about investing in the development and retention of talented employees it aims to build a competitive advantage by creating a skilled and engaged work uh, force then hrm process advantage this area focuses on improving hr uh, processes such as recruitment performance management and employee development so it basically aims to create uh, efficient and effective HR process that support the organizational organization's goals. 
so organizational uh, specific when it comes to specific is organizational uh, development corporate social responsibility resourcing talent management learning and development employee reward employee uh, relations employee well-being so employee development this area involves planned uh, interventions aimed to at improving the organization's effectiveness including changes in the structure culture and process of the organizations corporate and social responsibility involves taking responsibility for the organization's impact on society and the environment then uh, next one is resourcing uh, concern resourcing concerns with attracting selecting and retaining the right employees so basically it includes recruitment selection and retention strategies uh, then it's a very common you might heard about talent management areas involves identifying and developing high potential employees to meet uh, the organization's future needs included this area includes uh, you know succession planning career development and uh, leadership development next one is uh, leadership and uh, uh, development leadership and development this area focuses on uh, improving employees skills knowledge through training and development program and then employ reward uh, this area involves designing and implementing reward and recognition program that uh, motivate employees and support the organization's goals it includes compensation benefit and recognition program so employee relations uh, involves concern this area uh, is concerned with the creating positive relationship between uh, employees and the organizations and last one is uh, employees well-being this area uh, involves creating a supportive work environment that promotes employees health and well-being it includes programs that uh, address physical mental and social well-being example of overall hr strategies uh, human resources strategy you really need is the uh, tangible expression of uh, values and the implementation of values so a uh, human resource development is responsible for managing uh, on organization most important assets its people hr specialists are uh, crucial to ensuring that an organization employees are happy productive and engaged so the strategic role of hr specialist is uh, to ensure that an organization employees are engaged productive and equipped with the skills and abilities necessary uh, to uh, achieve the organization's goals and objective by doing so hr specialists can help to drive the success and growth of organizations uh, human uh, human resource uh, strategy is a plan of action uh, that outlines how an organization can effectively manage its employees in order to achieve its overall goals and objectives so it is a roadmap for how the company will recruit hire train develop and uh, retain its workforce to create a competitive advantage uh, developing a successful hr strategy requires a deep understanding of the company's goal and uh, the role that employees plays in achieving them so it should take into account the organization's mission vision and value so as well as the external factors that can affect its success such as uh, market trends and technologic uh, technological advancement uh, that's it here is a references and that's it for today uh, was quite short uh, session so if you got any question drop me an email at tutor-management at ukversity.co.uk uh, my name is Yasser Golfraz you can email me you can whatsapp me and you can uh, message me so anybody can hear my screen
Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, that's it for today. Uh, Cheryl and uh, Muniba Tariq, uh, uh, if you got any question again, just drop me an email at tutor management and dot com today. Uh, tomorrow session is same time at 11 o'clock. And hopefully uh, we will uh, discuss further HRM strategies tomorrow. Okay. Thank, uh, you. thank you. Bye and have a good evening. Bye. You too.